Hey everybody, Jack here, Talk Neuro City. I hope you guys are all doing very well indeed. Back again today for another video, and I said in yesterday's video that it's busy at Neuro City and there's no sign of it slowing down. Well, it hasn't. Lots of news to get through today. And let's start with the biggest of all. Billy Gilmore is in the house, yet to be confirmed by Neuro City. It may well have been by the time I get this video live, but this picture today emerged of him uh, with some Norwich City members of staff getting the reveal video done and wearing the brand new Joma training kit. Of course, that's another bit of news. Joma, the brand new kit partner for Norwich City, which is a brilliant deal for the club. Um, and I really like the look of that training kit. I'm sure we'll be talking about more in the, of that in the future when the actual kit is announced. But Billy Gilmore, the story here, we've talked about this man at length, 20 years old, has already done it on the biggest of stages, both for Chelsea and Scotland, the man of the match performance against England at Euro 2020 and the Champions League winner's medal. This man looks to be the replacement for Oliver Skip. Um, really excited to get this done because there was other Premier League interest in for Billy Gilmore. Of course, he's uh, tested positive for COVID in recent weeks. We had to um, let his quarantine come to an end before the medical could be completed. And it looks like it's now a done deal, if not already a done deal by the time this video is out there. Let me know what you guys think about Billy Gilmore. Delighted to see him in yellow and green. A really exciting campaign coming up for him. Brilliant to have that working relationship between Daniel Fark and Thomas Tuchel. Uh, really coming to, to fruition here. Um, of course, they spent time together at, at Borussia Dortmund. Um, and now we're seeing the the uh, the rewards from that. Excited for Gilmore and excited uh, to see where that one goes. Not so excited about the news that Marco Stieperman's time at Norwich City has come to an end. His contract has been mutually terminated after a, a really difficult year for Marco. A mixture of injuries and illness and covid um, and he just never really got going last season. Marco Stieperman was you know, one of the early signings for Daniel Farker, signed back in 2017. 120 games for Norwich City, 12 goals in that time. And I don't know about you, but I loved watching Marco Stieperman play. A complete maverick in every sense. I, I still can't pinpoint exactly what he was. But whatever he was, it was an absolute joy to watch. His sort of gangly limbs and crab celebrations. He epitomised what it was about to play for Norwich City, especially in that 2018-19 campaign where he scored a lot of really crucial goals, actually. I think it's easy to forget, but I was just watching that montage that the club put together to announce that he was leaving. And there were some really big goals in there and some well-taken goals as well. Marco Stieperman, um, although... You know, as I say, he wasn't your stereotypical um, footballer. He got the job done and he was really important to the way that we played. As I say, definitely in that 18-19 season. I think there were moments this season just gone where there were games crying out for Marco Stieperman. Um, scored that big goal against Swansea at home that really kept our season ticking over. So disappointed to see Marco leave. Doesn't mean I don't, I don't think it's the right decision. I am happy that Norwich City have made this call. I suspect these are some of the most difficult moments for, for managers to make. Players that are well loved, not only at the club, but by the fans who have had big impacts at, um, at their respective football clubs. And I suspect very well liked amongst the staff to then have to tell them that actually we, we don't think there's much of a future here at the football club. That must be really difficult. However, difficult decisions are often the right ones to make and we can't be sentimental going back into the Premier League. Um, we were last time and it certainly didn't work. Stuart Webber said um, publicly that he felt that Norwich City were far too sentimental the last time we, we gained promotion to the Premier League and it's decisions like this that sadly have to be made. Marco Stiepenman wasn't good enough for the Premier League, won't be good enough for the Premier League at the next time of asking and freeing up some, some wages and, and letting Marco go hopefully means that we can bring in someone more suitable to that level. So thank you, Marco Stieferman. You're an absolute delight in every sense. Um, and you contributed a lot to the recent history of Norwich City Football Club. Two promotions and a relegation in four seasons at the club. A lot went on and you were at the centre for most of it. So Marco, well done. And I hope uh, your future 
is a flourishing one. The final bit of news today is that Josh Martin has completed a season-long loan deal to MK Dons, of course, managed by Russell Martin, MK Dons in League One. Everything about this is, is right. Josh Martin had a good role to play in Norwich City's promotion last season, clearly in a very exciting young player, scored a goal uh, at Carrow Road, um, but probably not good enough for the step up to the Premier League. Let's get him to a club where hopefully he'll be involved week in, week out, to a man that we know will manage him well and has managed young players well in Russell Martin, um, get that season of development under his belt, and then who knows what can happen next year. Uh, I wish Josh Martin all the best at MK Dons. Really excited to follow his progress uh, alongside some other former Norwich players at, at Dons, of course. So um, really exciting uh, to see that one. Of course, Louis Thompson and, and Carlton Morris there as well. Lots going on at Norwich City. Uh, Billy Gilmore, Marco Stiefman, Josh Martin, the news today, ins and outs. Let me know though about Billy Gilmore. Are you excited to see him through the door? I bet you are. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all again very soon. Bye-bye.